Steve from Custom Table Tennis and as promised I tried the uh, the Unicorn Blade and I was quite surprised actually because I'm used to an oversized blade. This is actually 151 by 153 that way as opposed to my usual wood nut which is 157 by 162 that way. Um, first of all the weight I know I've been testing this rubber and I'm going to get to that in another video but weight wise We've got a very very respectable 131 as opposed to my own bat with the hellfire on which is a little bit heavier but that's based on this rubber and i'll do that in a separate review so um get the scales out of the way thickness wise yep 5.7 as opposed to the wood nut blades that are just under the five mark but what i found interesting um, was how easy it was to use uh, we've got the secret flow on there i've got it in 1.5 because i wanted to keep the weight down and uh, clean it up nicely this is going to go for sale i've probably had about 45 minutes with this so it's as new um, no wear or tear on the monkey very very easy to control very easy to chop block if you want to see some videos just put in Sebastian Sauer and have a look what he does with this in actual fact this is the exact blade uh, the exact setup he uses in the video so what we'll do is we'll link his video to this particular blade and then if you want to have a go with it exactly what he's using himself in the video uh, you'll be able to give it a go so the monkey then compared well let's do the blades first compared so the comparison wise um me probably me me chop blocking and me punching into the corners um flat hitting was probably a little bit better than the uh the the wood nut although that i'm i've got better timing on the wood nut but that's because of its compact size um and i'm not really i, I use short pimples on the forehand but i wanted to try this rubber so very very impressed with the fit and finish of it um i'll give you the dimensions I didn't do them that way did i so the dimensions that way so you've got 130 that way uh, 30 that way by 23. so it's it's a decent it's a decent grip i like the fact that the fit and finish is really really good so the construction wise then so we, what we've got is we've got a mansonia it's a mansonia outer ply which is from the i think it's a it's a hardwood it's a hardwood but it was it tested lots and lots of different woods to arrive at this so it plays perfectly well it's actually designed for the hellfire and i should have put hellfire on actually but i wanted to be clever and use the blue rubber and then on and then you've got the as core and it's a very nicely well made thing i do like the fact that you've got logos are nice and flush and you've got them on both sides um really well constructed item we're going to offer this for sale because i'm not going to come back to this one once i've tested it um will i be changing i mean me myself personally well if i wasn't using the wood nut and the wood nut hadn't been invented i would probably use this blade no question about it i can block short i can hit well with it but i won't be coming off um, my, my wood nut personally um I've, I've just got used to the bigger size and um the the actual control and the feel so a little quick video because i didn't want to spend too long um on pimples i bet people are getting a little bit bored of the pimples now but um i did promise that we would do this do this blade so overall fit and finish of this is it's a fantastic little blade for the money i think it's about 64.99 i can see where the money goes it's well designed no rough edges easy easy tops to, to seal and what have you so just just a delight to play with and if you're used to a conventional size blade and you want to try pimples um this is exactly the bat that um sebastian sow was using in a in a recent video so i thought i'd have a look at it myself and very very impressed with it the, the, the design the unicorn the innovative thinking 
really happy with it and um, the monkey I know we sell an awful lot of the monkey in blue we sell an awful lot of the monkey in blue and then the sour the sour and troga the hellfire which I've got which I've got in the black for me to test this rubber out which I'm going to come to in another video is it worth buying this video um, buying this rubber at 17.99 as opposed to some other Chinese offering but that's going to be in another video um, we'll wrap this one up for now hope it's been informative I know it's all about pimples and not everybody's interested in pimples but hey ho I've been playing with pimples nearly 40 years and I'm interested so I'm always going to be looking at some uh, new innovative products for pimples so hit the like and subscribe it really does help our channel and helps us continue to do these videos we try and get two on a week um steve from custom table tennis until next time bye for now